What are you doing? <laughs> what are you, you, you put like two blocks down, then you take them out, and then you put them back down again. I've been watching you for a couple of minutes. <laughs> well, I'm confused. <laughs> oh, God. But, um, yeah, do you want to introduce yourself? Oh, oh my God, that's always such a hard question. Um, uh, I'm Frank. Well, be <laughs> before you say anything, I, I, I did notice on one of your other uh, videos that you said that you hated introducing yourself or you didn't like doing it. Uh, I hate doing it. <laughs> <laughs> it does feel kind of strange, doesn't it, trying to introduce yourself? But anyway, go ahead. Okay. Um, uh, my name is Frank and um, I like dirt pillars, <laughs> irregular, regular buildings and random holes. So everything I hate, you like. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> so well, you know, opposites, opposites attract. Oh, that's a good thing. <laughs> so me and Frank have been playing Feed the Beast for uh, a couple of days now. Um, we haven't really done anything technical. We've just been kind of messing around, <laughs> collecting resources. Um, we've got a bunch of resources. Nothing spectacular. We've got, you know, lots of iron and. We did have a lot of coal until Frank used it all, pretty much. I'm sorry, I need a nice house. Yeah, Frank used all our coal to make this um, red brick house that we're working on. For the record, I built the outside, Frank did the inside, which, uh, look, look how bad <laughs> the inside looks. <laughs> That's Everyone, not... he's, a, he's a big mean liar. <laughs> No, Frank built most of it. I just copied it. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's not finished, obviously. We've still got a lot of work to do on it. Um, but for the first episode on Feed the Beast, we thought we, uh, we've we been using all our coal up, so we need to get some energy going. So we, we're going to start making some water mills and some geothermal generators. Um, we've already got the water mills, but they're not uh, placed or in, in position yet. So we're going to start with that. Um, I um, like I said, we have made a few things. I've got some long four boots on. Frank did have a pair, but she died, um, and she lost them. Just earlier tonight, in fact, he fell in lava, didn't you, Frank? Yeah, but that wasn't because of the long four boots. That was just, you know walking around, and you know, yeah, it, it happens in Minecraft. <laughs> Random holes. <sighs> so, uh, yeah, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our... We've got 16 water mills already built, and we're going to get those in place, and we're going to get some energy because we really need it. We can't do much right now. Um, we're going to put, for now at least, until the house or the, the factory, whatever you want to call it, is, is finished, we're going to put the water mills under the floor. Um, so I've dug out a little space here to put them in. Um, Frank, you can do the water because you always moan when I do the water, so... <laughs> that was just because uh, I thought they had to be infinite, infinite springs, all of them. I I don't know is the honest answer. I think they work better if they are, but I don't know how to do that. So. Mm, I checked something else. Uh, some others playing this, and they didn't seem to make any. So there's okay. um there's a couple of buckets in the middle chest there. Um, yeah. I need some copper cables. Did I, did I use them all? As you can see, one, one of the other things that's really bugging me right now is our chests. Um, it's just such a mess. I hate it. Okay, we have 18 cables. I think that will be okay. Yeah. So, um, I'm going to go and put these in. Frank, um... Do, where, do, where should we put the machines, actually, before? I need to know where to run the cable. Uh, let's see. I figured I, I was gonna just run the cable right up in the corner here for now. I mean, we can always mm -hmm. move. We can always move it. Yeah, that could work. I mean, the inside wall is going here. I'm pretty sure. Um, mm -hmm. so that could work. Okay. Actually, I guess the inside wall could go one step further out. Even don't know if I dare to chance it though. <laughs> I don't mind. Um. Uh, yeah, what, so what, just move these blocks out one further, you mean? Yeah. 
Is that going to mess up this little bit you've done on the side at all? Uh, no, because, you know, I went back and forth and built almost the same thing about five times. So, uh, But, but now, now I'm pretty sure that <laughs> okay, glass right. still lamp is indeed going there. So, yeah, the wall works fine there. Okay, the only other problem we have is that this little part doesn't have any floor because we run out of blocks. <laughs> I have some more. Okay, so, um, oh, there's one here too. I'm stuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go down, it's fine, I'll go down. Okay, yeah, so we'll run the cable up a corner there then, um, and we'll see what happens. So I don't know what the best way to, to lay these watermills is. I, I've never, the only watermills I've ever done um, have been fully automated uh, with no water, these buckets. Um, that was in Technic, which obviously I haven't played for quite some time. Um, so I don't really know if I'm doing this optimally, but oh no, I totally did that wrong. Frankie distracted me. Um, oh, I was just running around with buckets. I can <laughs> <laughs> it's just easier to blame you. I don't. E I don't even know if I'm if I have to use a wrench on watermills, but I don't want to risk it. Frank is um, the feed the beast expert. By the way, she's going to be teaching me everything she knows. Yeah, like. Um, <clears throat> uh, uh, Are you looking in not enough items right now? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You've got your jetpack on there, right? Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, I seem to be missing a watermill. Oh, I have no idea where that went. Uh, is it in your... In oh, it's in your hand. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Okay, uh, I've nearly finished this, so you can put the water in place in a second. Do you want me to make you an infinite spring? No, that, that's fine, Funky. You don't even know how to make one. I do. <laughs> no, I don't mean on the watermills. I just mean, like, you know, one up here so you can fill your buckets up. Aha, uh -huh, okay. No, they're all already filled. Uh, did we really need more than one water for this? I, I don't know that we do. Um, can you even put the water on top of it though because of the floor? Or is that... Did I not try dig? It's not letting you use it. No, I'm trying to... <sighs> okay. Okay, that's alright. That's okay. We can fix this. Um, no, don't worry about the floor. I'll just move the water mills down one. Um, I didn't really measure it. Measure it. I just kind of tried oh, to... Oh, but it, uh, it should be okay. If, if I just place the water from above, uh, we can replace the floor. I think it's going to be fine. Uh, what, that won't cut off the source block? Uh, we'll see. I don't think it will. Okay. I'll let you try it before I put the watermills back. Oh, yes. No, it will. Oh. Okay. Two. Okay, so I just need to... That's okay. I just need to move those top four down one and we'll be fine. Um... Only problem is my wrench is out of power. Um, generator. There we go. Did you use all of the coal? Was there any? Oh no, I found some. There we go. Um, yeah, so I'll just move it down one row, and um, it'll actually be easier because I uh, I was actually struggling on where to put the cable. So it's fine. It'll work out fine. Okay. Now I realize the copper cable is not the best to be doing this. Um, I, it does start losing power after you like run a certain amount of lengths. I don't think we're there yet. Or well, maybe we are. I don't know. Um, but we haven't got enough diamonds to make glass fiber so we'll just have to make do 
I didn't even know that there were any other kind of cables. Yeah. Oh, there's there's loads. There's tin. There's gold. Um, there's glass fiber ones, which you make with diamonds and glass. Um, and obviously there's copper. And copper's the cheapest to make generally. Okay. Um, but like the longer the cable is, it loses power. But I think it's okay for what we've got. You know, that's a good thing about me being a complete noob when it comes to this. You have to explain everything to me like I was a baby. No, that might be good for some people watching. <laughs> I don't know. I, well, I mean, I don't for a second claim to be an expert in this. I mean, the only stuff that I really know is the stuff that I learned when I was playing Technic. And some of that's changed quite a, quite a lot, so... Um, oh, you've already been digging down for me. Hmm. Do you have another watermill? Uh, what me? Why should I have that? You, you can place that. Just, just pop it there. That's fine. There you go. Okay, now you can do your water. Thank you. So we have a couple of bat boxes made as well. We were using one for a generator and one for um, the water mills. So we'll probably hook both of those up in in sequence, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, I know the cables there. So I think you might have to place four water blocks, one on top of each water mill. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I'll have one back box there, I guess, for now at least. Like I said, guys, most of this stuff will probably move um, as we finish building. One thing I've heard, have learned about Feed the Beast, though, is the wonderful shift when you play stuff. Yes. On top of crafting bench and stuff, that is so helpful. I, I didn't know about that for quite a while when I first started playing Technic. I need... <laughs> that was <laughs> very hard. Well, I just didn't think it was possible to place things on top of machines at the time. So I just assumed that was kind of how it was supposed to be. No, that's not right. Okay. Oh, why is it doing that? Silly thing. What's wrong? It's, um, no, it just keeps, um, putting the output in the wrong place. Let me remove this cable. Oh, it's right now. It's okay, it's fine. Uh, okay, so that should be generating power now, I think. And it's not. And that's because... Hey. We've had a bit of a mob problem around here as well, so there's quite a lot of creeper holes and stuff. Um, that doesn't seem to be generating anything. Have I, okay. have I broken something here? Hmm. Who's working? Because um, this is our second house, by the way, guys. Um, our first one was in a, uh, a not not so great area, and Frank made us move, so. Yeah, it was actually you that picked that area out. There were holes everywhere <laughs> and just random blocks. And you were, yeah, okay, let's move here. <laughs> it was me. Um, okay, so that's not doing anything. Were you drunk at that time or anything? You know, I'll have to ask because... Well, you know I wasn't drunk, so I don't drink. I, <laughs> I was, I, we'd been walking around for about two or three hours looking for a place to build. And I was just I, tired of walking, so I just said, let's build here. Um, okay, so maybe it could be that this cable's just too long. Um, is there anything I can think of? Because it is kind of lengthy. But we can potentially reduce it. Um, like if you put, if you run a length of, of copper cable, I don't know how long it, you can run it, like maybe 14 blocks or something. Um, 
But if you put a bat box in the middle, it kind of acts like a repeater and it extends it, I think. Okay. I hope. So I'm wondering if I just put one over here somewhere, whether it'll... But that copper cable, it couldn't be 14 blocks, right? Or, or maybe from the bottom, I guess. Okay, this this one's working now. This one's charging. Um, okay. Is this one, though? That one's not. Hmm. <laughs> We've got a broken bat box, maybe? No, it's falling down the bottom. Okay, well, I don't understand what I'm doing wrong here. No, stop doing that. Like, when you use the wrench, normally it will change the... Uh, the output. Have you noticed on the back box that it's got like an output? Did you did you see that? Yeah. Um, normally when you use the wrench, it just changes the out changes the output. Oh, I guess it was because it was already already there. Okay. Already already there. Do you have um, to put them in in a specific order? Yeah, you have to have the output and the input in a certain place, and um, I've kind of forgotten what that place is. But I think, uh, I think the sink, the 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 hole, whichever side that's on, I think that's an output. So yeah, okay, they're both charging now, very very slowly, but they're both charging. Having having more than one is kind of cool as well, because we have a we'll have a backup of like a some extra power if we ever need it. Um, yeah, but it's going so slow that I can barely see it. I know, it's really bad, isn't it? It's really slow. Um, like, crazy slow. I don't know, again, it could be because we're using the, the copper cabling, maybe? Or maybe it's because of the... You put four water blocks down, didn't you? Four source blocks. Yes. Can, um, can I have... Oh, there's a creeper behind us. Can I have the um can I have the bucket just to try something real quick? Sure. Okay, um where's the water? Oh hey. In the ground there. No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> yeah. I know for a fact I know for a fact you totally saw him right next to me, didn't you? <laughs> There's no way you could have not seen him, and you just let him <laughs> explode. <laughs> so, <yeah>. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, I actually, I, I actually didn't see him until I told you. Hmm. Um. Yeah. What I was gonna try. Um. If you wanna keep an eye on this. Um. No, I'm not the first one. The second one. This bat box up here. Uh, I was going to put some source blocks on each level, um, just on top of the water mills, each one, just to see if that makes a difference. Sure. Because I think, um, I don't know how much water they're getting in there now. I'm just wondering if it goes up, up any. I mean, they're not particularly powerful water mills anyway, but I don't think they were that slow. Do they seem to be any faster or not at all? Maybe. It's it's hard to judge, actually. Okay. Oh, there's no harm in doing it, I guess. Would you like to make our geothermal generator? Yeah, of course. I know everything about that. Mm -hmm. Um, Let's see. <laughs> Geothermal generator. It's um, it's not that difficult to make, from what I remember. Yeah, just. And so. And in fact, um, there's already you don't even need to make the generator. Just to use the one that we've got. Uh, on the floor right there. Then the salts, okay. Yeah, those are just tin. Yeah. Bad. That's easy. Um. Yeah, 
Sure. I think I could. I think you could. Um, because uh, we have a lava pool. It's only a little one, but we do have a little lava pool around here that, uh, that Frank found. Um, <laughs> and by, by found, I mean fell in. So we're just, it's not very big, but, you know, it should give us a, a little bit of power. This thing has stopped. Why is it not going up again? Oh, it is going up just very, very slowly. Um, yeah, so you can use that generator. Um, I'll wrench it up for you. Uh, thank you. And while you're doing that, I'm going to make some... S oh, actually, I think we have some cells somewhere. Yeah, we, we have it. I already took them, so... Oh, no, I know, but we need to fill these with um, lava as well. I think it's... I think these are the same ones. Lava cells. Okay, because in the geothermal generator, in the re recipe, it says it just says empty cell. Um, oh yeah, that's to build the machine, but then to power it, we put lava in cells. Oh, okay, okay. Um, so if you have any... How many cells do, do you have? Do you have more than two? Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's keep, see. Keep hold of those. Here you go. Oh, okay. So um, this we picked this spot um, because a it's got the really nice color green grass. It's in the a massive, massive plains area. B it's next to this really colorful forest, and there's a whole bunch of oil. Uh, you may be able to see that really, really tall oil geyser over there we were planning on actually trying to get that for the first video but we've had a really really hard time trying to find a desert biome so we can't find cactus to make waterproof pipes so we're gonna put that on hold for for just now yeah you went like over a thousand blocks from where we are right yeah I've um, yeah God knows how far I've traveled I was in a boat for you know a good 20 minutes and <laughs> I just couldn't find any desert biomes I got the generator. Geothermal generator. Sweet. Yeah. Okay. You want um, it? No, no. You want no. it as proof? <laughs> no, no. You, you can do it. Um, I guess we'll just put it down here for now as well, just so we don't have to run loads and loads of cables. Um, can you put it on that? Oh no, hang on. Actually, can you just shift click it right onto the bat box? Let's on the, see. On, the, on the side of it. Okay, just, just buy it, not on top of it. Yeah, just kind of uh, there, kind of thing. Yeah. It's not staying there, obviously, but okay. So what we need to do now is take the cells that we've got left. Um, we should probably make some more. Um, oh, hang on. These are different. Oh, those are batteries. Why did I pick up batteries? Yeah, let's make some more. We'll, we'll get a stack of these if we can. Um, and that should keep us powered for quite a while. Okay, I got a stack. Um, you take half of those. Just dump stuff in this chest. Okay, so let's head back over to the, the lava field thing where you died. Uh, my best friend. <laughs> uh, I d there's not much <laughs> lava there, so we may not be able to fill these, but we'll fill as many as we can. I had to cover it up just to stop Frank from falling in, so. Oh, there's quite a lot of lava here, actually. I didn't realize how big it was. Um, but then you, all you need to do is um, right-click the cells on the lava, and it will fill them up. Okay. And it does Let's seem see. to take the lava source block, so... We keep doing this, yeah. There's not enough. It's not very deep. I thought it was deeper, but it's, it isn't. Uh, 
anymore. No. You can just keep spamming right click pretty much. I'm stealing it all. If you actually look at the lava cells in your inventory, it tells you how much energy they produce. So these give you 50,000 EU. Oh, that so, sounds loud. Yeah, so I mean, two of these will fill both of our battery boxes. So they should should last us a little while until we get, you know, the house and everything built up, hopefully. Okay, I think I can't find any more here. But you weren't really planning on such a big house, right? This is me that always builds really large. Yeah, I, I, I tend to um, just build like little shacks generally, um, but that's that's fine. That's a nice change. Okay, I can't find any more down here now. I don't know about you. No, me neither. Okay, how many did you get? Um, let's see. I got eighteen. Okay, so but we've got fifty between us then. So. No, I think it's tapped out. But if we go uh, go back and put these in the generator now, then it should start producing some nice energy for us. And I think you put them in the bottom. Yeah, you do. In the bottom. Ah, oh, I see. I mean, this one doesn't stay full of energy because it's still charging up this, this first one. Uh, but you can see this first one over here now is charging up much quicker. Well. Yeah. <laughs> but it, eventually it'll fill both of them, so... Okay, so um, we've got some basic machines built already. Um, we've got, where are they? Okay, we've got a macerator, an extractor, a furnace. We had, got, we had a couple of overclockers as well, which we'll use. Uh, we had a compressor. Frank will explain what each one of these machines does. <coughs> okay. Um. <laughs> um, I'm not really sure how we're going to run this cable. It's going to be a little bit messy. Um, yeah. I didn't know about the macerator dust, though. I'm very proud of that. You, d you do or you don't, sorry? Yeah, I do, I do actually know what that does. Yeah, the macerator it grabs like... stuff into dust. So, and mm -hmm. can you get double? Yep, I uh, it's, that. One, it's one of the, the, the first machines you should build, really, because you can double your ores, which most most people who've played Technic um, kind of know that. Um, yeah, this, this cabling situation is going to be messy, but it's fine, it's fine, it's only temporary for now. I need to make some more copper cables, though. Do you keep removing my stairs? Well, some of them. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you. Um, it's you always complaining about the dirt and the cobble, and then you... <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's true. But um, yeah, so that cable's so, so bad, but I don't know what... Um, oh, actually, what we could do... Maybe run them inside? If I switch the output over here, oh, damn it, I don't have my wrench. Yeah, we could run them in the, the space there, maybe. Because we are going to have a bit of space, like in the wall here, so might as well use it. Mm -hmm. So I'll switch that here. So, I mean, this part 
effectively won't have a wall, but you won't see it because the machines will be covering it, so it's fine. Okay, so uh, what have we got? We've got a furnace, we've got a macerator. I guess we'll just put them anywhere for now. Put that there. Okay, and we've got an extractor and a compressor. I guess the cables are kind of irrelevant for these two machines. Um, because they stand, you know, they're sitting next to the bat box. You don't, if you put something next to a bat box like that, it will draw power straight from it. Okay. Um, but the two end machines obviously wouldn't. Um, I'll put the overclockers, I'll put two in the macerator. Um, oh, did I put three in? No. Two in the furnace. And I'll put one in these. You don't use these as much. Um... So yeah, we can do the cabling like that. I mean, we'll have to upgrade it, I think, to glass fiber eventually, but okay, that box is fully charged now, and so is this one. They're both fully charged, and we've still got 22 of those lava cells left, so. Do we, do we, lose, any, do we lose any energy if this is fully charged and it can't be filled up anymore? No. Okay. Well, yeah, well, yeah, technically, I mean, the water mill's still producing power. Yeah, but, but it's, but it's, it's got infinite, to put so. It. Yeah. yeah. Um, but no, the lava cells aren't being used now. Okay. Like, if you look at the front of it, you see those two windows? When when it's being used, um, those windows light up red. Okay, that's good now. Okay, so we've got our machines. Um, we've still got a whole bunch of ore that we need to grind down, which um, we won't bore you with. Um, just to kind of let you know about the series as well, what we're probably going to be doing is... Um, a lot of the stuff like building and mining and stuff will probably be done off camera just like I normally do I mean I, I usually do that anyway um, we may show you a little bit here and there especially if something funny happens to Frank <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah okay guys we're gonna leave it there for today Frank would you like to say anything hello I can fly <laughs> don't you mean goodbye not hello okay hello and goodbye Okay, guys. <laughs> <laughs> See you next time.